In an out-of-the-way part of rural Virginia, an annual three-day event brings people from far and wide for free medical care they urgently need. It's a completely volunteer operation of people who treat thousands in need, and sadly, the demand is growing every year. Here again is ABC's Bob Woodruff. Wise Virginia is a coal mining county, far from any major airport. Stan Brock flew in from Knoxville, where Ram is based. Lonesome Pine Airport, one zero mile. Ram has done just over 700 expeditions, as Brock calls the clinics, since 1985. This idea came to him when he was injured on a cattle ranch in the Amazon, 26 days on foot from the nearest doctor. To help others, nine six. he brought medical teams to other undeveloped countries like India, Haiti. Morning. But what Brock quickly learned was that there was desperation in the U.S. as well, especially in places like Wise, where jobs have disappeared and few doctors hang their shingles. It's their sort of one-time opportunity that they know they can afford uh, to get the care that they need. The Wise Clinic is one of the largest that they do here in the United States, serving some 2,500 people. And on the second morning, hundreds again line up in the pre-dawn darkness for a chance to see a doctor. So the first thing we're going to do is bring in the people that were left over and waited here for, what, some of them 24 hours or more. Good morning, folks. Among the hundreds streaming in, the Ramoses, who have now waited more than 24 hours. The only thing we got done was standing in line, paperwork done, and we got our bands. But suddenly, this man is moved to the front of the line. Robert Ellis has walked 15 miles through the night walking stick in hand to get here. I had a ride, but I didn't have enough gas to put in my truck to get here, so I just, I told the old lady I just walked. Even though his son just returned the day before from serving in Afghanistan, Ellis knew he had to come to Wise. And I really need my teeth fixed. They're about, they're really bad, and my hearing, I don't know which one's worse. But his visit to triage uncovers something else. He said he's had some, some pain in his chest when he was walking up here this morning. No, I don't have it right now. There's no shortness of breath involved. No else and vomiting. Dental and hearing will have to wait as he is taken to the medical tent and cardiology. I've been having chest pains lately. Not often. That's starting to come more often. The clinic offers specialty areas, including cardiology, dermatology, orthopedics, even mobile x-ray units, and denture labs. The people we're going to see here never get teeth if we don't give them to them. About 80 dental chairs are up and running, 16 eye examination stations, two optical labs, grinding 600 pairs of glasses a day. We carry about 10,000 lenses on here. Manning it all are those volunteers. And that is in what town? Whose ranks have grown by one as Virginia Senator Tim Kaine slips into registration to do his part. Yeah. How about an emergency contact, family members? By Brock's estimation, Kane is one of only a dozen or so politicians who have ever been to a RAM event. People will drive for days, and then they'll get here two or three days early to camp and wait so they can get care. And this is the most powerful nation on Earth. But we can do so much better. By the afternoon, Ellis is getting his eyes checked. I can read A. I can't tell what the bottom one is. And pretty much everything else. Thank you. They changed my blood pressure medicine, and I had my hearing checked. I'm going to need hearing aids. They fit molds on both my ears, thank God. I needed that. And uh, after I get done with this, I'm going to go over and have my teeth pulled. I didn't think I'd get this much done today. I really did. On Sunday morning, the third and final day, the crowd is much smaller. It's a short day. And so we're bringing in really just a, an extra hundred people in vision and, uh, and an extra hundred people in dental, and uh, that should just about do it for the morning. The very last of the dental patients continue to be worked on as equipment is packed up and the heavens open. We don't need to be doing this in the world's richest country. I would rather be back in Haiti in India, in Africa, and, and where this organization began in the Amazon than doing it here in the world's richest country. But I don't see this ending anytime soon. The numbers from the weekend support the claim. Some 1,200 dental patients have been seen, 4,000 teeth pulled, 900 pairs of glasses provided. In total, over $2 million worth of health care provided 
all free of charge. It doesn't matter where you go in the United States, you're going to find these huge numbers of people that either don't have access to care because it's an underserved area, or in most cases, in, they simply can't afford to go to the dentist, they can't afford to go to the eye doctor, um, and, and, and so they're going to be relying on the kind of services that we provide. For Nightline, I'm Bob Woodruff in Wise, Virginia. What a remarkable effort. Our thanks to Bob Woodruff. For more about remote area medical, visit our website at abcnews.com slash nightline.